possible. Register for vaccine updates and get more information at miamidade.gov slash vaccine. Get vaccinated, Miami-Dade County. It's our best shot for a strong, healthy community. And welcome in WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour here on this fine penultimate uh, Thursday of September. Uh, I'm your host, Philip Capuzzi, pleased to be joining you as always from 11 a.m. until 12 noon as we welcome in some of the premier students uh, and faculty, whether they be current or, or having stepped away from Frost in recent years here into the Jazz Gallery to perform live and direct uh, for you all. Looking forward to next week's program, just to mention it before we get into this morning's program. Uh, we're going to have the Monk Mingus Ensemble in under the direction of the ubiquitous John Hart. So very much looking forward to that performance uh, and then an onslaught of incredible performances in October as well that I'll mention uh, once we get into the show a little bit. But for us here this morning, uh, we have a really good friend of mine, incredible vocalist, uh, composer, multi-instrumentalist, uh, Vanya Hunko, as she brings in uh, a quintet of hers into the jazz gallery, joined by Angel Perez on piano, Jesse Katz on upright bass. Uh, and Bram Masla on drums, and another good friend of mine, Aaron Basundiel, to join them in just a few moments. Uh, so without further ado, here on the Frost Jazz Hour, I'm, I'm going to thank this group so much for being here, and I think we can just get into the music. Down with love, flowers, and rice, and shoes. Down with love, the root of all midnight blues. Down with things that give you that one on pain. Take moon and wrap it in cellophane. Down with love, let's liquidate all its friends. Moon and June and roses and rainbows ends. Down with songs that wander by night and day. Down with love, just take it away, away. Take it away, take it away. Give it back to the birds and the bees and the V and D. Down with eyes, romantic and stupid, down with stars and down with cupid, brother, let's let that bow down with
Vanya Hunko, live and direct here on the Frost Jazz Hour, WDNA 88.9 FM. Welcoming in anyone who might have just joined us on the program, whether you're listening on 88.9 or WDNA.org, or perhaps you're watching the live stream on livestream.com or YouTube.com, beautifully produced by our team here. Uh, now as we welcome Aaron Basundil on guitar for this next tune. Vanya, thanks again for being with us uh, here this morning. It's a great pleasure to, to listen to this group and, and some of your music together. So what's next? Thank you so much for having me. So that last tune was an arrangement of Down With Love. It's a Harold Arlen tune. Um, up next is a samba, a very beloved um, record that I love listening to um, called you know, just a bunch, it's just a bunch of love songs about Brazil. This one is called No Tabuleiro da Baiana. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, take it away. No Tabuleiro da Baiana Seu coração, seu amor de ai, no coração da baiana tem seu lençol candiri e lençol. Vanya Hunko, live and direct here on WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour. She's on vocals and also leading this wonderful quintet, joined by Aaron Basundil on guitar, Angel Perez on piano, Jesse Katz on upright bass, and Brahm Masla rounding out the ensemble on drums. Uh, thanks again so much for, for coming here and sharing your music. Yeah, thank you for having me. Of course, yeah, it's, it's my honor. Um, so I first like to ask the, the musicians that come in uh, just to share some of their, their background in the music, you know, how did you come to the music? How did you come to study jazz and compose music and, and do everything that you do so beautifully? Yeah, um, I mean, I was always drawn to music ever since I was a child. I was in a lot of choirs, a lot of bands, but um, I think specifically jazz. To be completely transparent, I don't know if she's watching this, but um, my good friend Nicole Garcia, I went to high school with her for a year before I transferred to a different school, but the, one of the first things that I ever saw at that school was her taking lessons with 
a good teacher of mine, Ryan Ellis. Um, basically, the two of them were my entire reason for even ever getting exposed to jazz. I really hadn't been up until that point, and I remember specifically going up to Mr. Ellis one day when I was in high school and saying, hey, I want to do what Nicole does, and that's when I started taking lessons and learning tunes. So I, I really owe it all to her. I, I, I haven't told her that, I think, but um, yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, we had her on the program uh, a few weeks ago, and she, she did it really beautifully. So yeah. that's really cool. I had no idea that you guys went to you guys went to high school together. Um, so then kind of a follow-up to that, you know, being from Miami and then going to Frost, at least in my time at Frost, I observed something of a different perspective from those students that were local and then those that were coming from, from really far away. Um, so I'm just curious kind of what your thoughts are on that, because obviously this group, you know, you have some musicians that are here local and then others that come from really far away. And I think personally that that's something that was so beautiful about Frost was its ability to bring together different members, you know, and form kind of a, a new community. But yeah, I was just hoping for some of your thoughts. Absolutely. Um, especially, I think, because of the location of the university. I think um, as someone who's local, I, you know, I'm, I don't find myself only drawn to people who are local, but I think I, I think I can speak for a lot of local Miamians when I say we notice when people choose to engage with the culture of our city and choose to um, become a, a member of it and a community member. and become become active and be receptive to all of the different cultures and the diversity and become a part of it rather than just, I guess, a, a customer of it, I would say. Yeah, that's really well said. Awesome. Yeah, so I think we're going to talk a little bit more later in the program, uh, but for the time being, let's get back to the music. Uh, what do you have next? Next is an original of mine um, called Vanya Swamp for Bugs, a little wordplay on Moody's Mood for Love. Um, it's a tune about bugs. I wrote it my freshman year of college, and yeah, hope you enjoy. Sounds good. You're listening to the Frost Jazz Hour here on WDNA 88.9 FM. Uh, Vanya Hunko performing live and direct from the Jazz Gallery. Two ladybugs, the spotted lady and her love. Creeping and crawling up above to ladybugs. A spider queen, her and her web and you between. She could be lovely or obscene, the spider queen. A cockroach life up in a cockroach world. Thank you. 
Vanya Swamp for Bugs here, live and direct on the Frost Jazz Hour, WDNA 88.9 FM. You're listening to Vanya Hunko on vocals, also leading this wonderful ensemble, joined by Aaron Basundil on guitar, Angel Perez on piano, Jesse Katz on upright bass, and Bram Masla on drums in that last tune, a wonderful original uh, written by, by Vanya herself. And now, as we move forward in the program, we're going to listen to uh, a beautiful ballad as performed by Angel uh, and Vanya together. But just to mention it one more time, next week at the same time, 11 a.m. as always, the Frost Jazz Hour here on Thursdays, we're going to be welcoming in the Monk Mingus Ensemble under the direction of John Hart. So very, very excited for that program. And then in the coming weeks in October, we have the Art Blakey Ensemble led by Brian Lynch, uh, followed by Shelley Berg. And then after that, the uh, Daphnis Prieto Artist Ensemble will be in here. So stacked, to say the least, for the next couple of weeks, a really month here uh, at the Frost Jazz Hour. So be sure to tune in uh, every week at 11 a.m., uh, whether you listen on 88.9 or feel free to check out the live stream, as always, on livestream.com and youtube.com. And with that, we're going to step back to the music uh, with a duo rendition of The Peacocks. A flower and trees in little pathways for descending to the garden far below us, the pavilions in the sunlight. summer sky I saw reflected in the color of your eyes but somehow I could never peel away the layers of disguise Hear your 
truth is an intrusion. A mirage is all it's ever been. Beauty is only an illusion. Here, your truth is an intrusion. Absolutely incredible. The Peacocks here live and direct on the Frost Jazz Hour. I uh, must say I wasn't uh, expecting to, to tear up here on this edition, but uh, the brilliance of Vanya Hunko. Um, unbelievable performance. That's Vanya Hunko, of course, on vocals and leading this group alongside Angel Perez on duo just a moment ago for that tune. We're going to step away briefly for some important messages from the station and come back uh, with some more uh, incredible music from this wonderful group. Welcome back, WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour. I'm your host, Philip Capuzzi. Pleased to be joining you here on this fine Thursday morning as we welcome in the Vanya Hunko Quintet, live and direct to the Jazz Gallery. Uh, it's Vanya Hunko leading this ensemble. She's also uh, composing some of the tunes that they're playing, uh, as well as uh, on vocals uh, for this morning as well. And she's joined by Aaron Basundil on guitar, Angel Perez, who just uh, performed a beautiful duo with her before the break, and he stepped off for this next tune, and rounding out the ensemble in the rhythm section, Jesse Katz on upright bass, and Bram Masla on drums. Uh, so without further ado, here on the Frost Jazz Hour, let's step back into the music. So Stay the same. You're beckoning me, said that I change. Try to keep my eyes closed. I want you so bad. Then I woke and it was so sad.
Yeah. I saw you in a dream here live and direct on WDNA 88.9 FM. Vanya Hunko and her group absolutely killing it on the air here. Thank you so much for being here once again. It's really so humbling to be able to experience your music. Uh, Vanya Hunko, of course, on vocals, also leading this wonderful ensemble. She's joined by Aaron Basundiel on guitar, Jesse Katz on upright bass, and Brahm Masla on drums, also Angel Perez uh, off screen at the current moment, but we'll be rejoining the ensemble in due time. Uh, so now as we move forward with the program, uh, we're going to step into uh, Dat Dare, uh, which should be a really interesting uh, rendition of the tune between Jesse and Vanya. Just to mention one more time, next Thursday, the Monk Mingus Ensemble will be here in the Jazz Gallery, as always, at 11 a.m. on Thursdays. That's under the direction of John Hart. Really looking forward to that program. Uh, if you have it within your means to donate to the station and support programs like these, the FIU Music Hour, the Frost Jazz Hour, as well as our other uh, programs here at the station that we produce for you on a day-in, day-out basis, uh, you can visit WDNA.org. You can donate securely uh, and go so far to help maintain uh, programs like these and help uh, wonderful musicians like Vanya and her outfit uh, come into the gallery and share their music and, and some of their story with you all. So one more time, that's WDNA.org. Uh, any donation of $60 or more uh, grants you a sustaining membership, and really any amount goes so far to help the station. Uh, so with that said, uh, let's get back to the music. Vanya Hunko, live and direct on the Frost Jazz Hour on 88.9 FM. Hey mama, what the dare? He wear that under there. And oh mama, oh hey mama, hey look good over there. Hey where they going there? And what they doing there? Hey mama, can I have that big elephant over there? Who, who that in my chair? And what she doing there? And oh mama, oh hey mama, hey what? Say up there, hey mama, what's a square? And where do we get air? Hey mama, can I have that big elephant over there? My quizzical kid, she doesn't want anything hit. 
She's forever demanding to know who, what, and why, and where. Inquisitive child, and sometimes the questions get whirled. Like, Mama, can I have that big elephant over there? Don't want to comb my hair. And where's my teddy bear? And oh, Mama, oh, hey, look at that cowboy coming there. Hey, can I have a pair? Can I have that big elephant over there? The time will march, the years will grow. The little lady's gonna grow, I gotta tell her all she'll need to know. A help her along so she'll know right from wrong, gotta make her strong. As life's parade goes trudging She'll need to know some reasons why I don't have all the answers. But I'll try as best as I can, gotta help her to plan so she'll make her stand. You give the kid your best, and you hope she'll pass the test when you finally send her out into the world somewhere. Although she's grown, I'm betting I never am forgetting. Mama, can I have that big elephant over there? Hey, what they doing there? And where are they going there? And oh, Mama, oh, hey, Mama, hey, what's that under there? Hey, Mama, what is fair? How come I gotta share? Mama, can I have that big elephant over there? Say, Mama, can I have that big elephant over there? Mama, can I have that big elephant over Vanya Hunko and Jesse Katz live and direct here on the Frost Jazz Hour, WDNA 88.9 FM. Vanya leading this wonderful ensemble uh, here this fine Thursday morning. Looking forward to the Monk Mingus Ensemble next Thursday from 11 a.m. until 12 noon, as always, for the Frost Jazz Hour. Um, so as we welcome the rest of the musicians back on uh, for the conclusion to this program, uh, Vanya, I wanted to ask you a, a few more questions the first time that we met a few years ago was in uh, the improv class led by actually the uh, director of the jazz program over at Frost, John Diversa. And I remember being so blown away by not only your improvisatory ability, but also the confidence with which you entered into the space. So I'm just curious, how intentional were you in developing those skills in general? What was your journey with improvisation? Because I, I must say you're really quite incredible. Oh, well, thank you, first of all. Um, improvisation, I think, was one of the first things that I learned about jazz. And I think because I, I, I originally started playing jazz also on the saxophone, and I was an instrumentalist for a while as well. So really, like, getting to know blowing, and that was one of the first things I was working on in high school and in lessons and such. Um, I I don't I don't really know how to explain it, but um, the way that my 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 dear dear teachers um Hen and Cindy Ellis shout out, uh, they had me start. I ended up coming to college knowing very little standards and a lot of very very out tunes, a lot of monk, a lot of Mangus, and I think it's just because that's what I was so drawn to as far as jazz. I think I love feeling like I can still be somewhat of um instrumentalist and a writer as well as as uh, like just as as just as much as I sing and I think you know I've, I've heard a few professors say that composition is a lot like slow improvising and to me improvising is a lot like fast composing mm. and so that's the approach I take to it and that's I think why I love it so much yeah wonderful thank you so much for sharing that so uh, kind of a follow-up to that as it relates to your multi-instrumentalism, you know, also your in engagement in composing and your engagement in, in spheres other than jazz as well, you know, some of the music that you've written, you know, falling more into, into pop spheres. 
So this concept of, of what I like to call multi-potentialism, that idea that you, know, you have different spheres that you can engage in, you don't necessarily have to specialize in one area. Uh, I guess I'll also mention that you're a really talented visual artist. So I guess leading myself to my question, do you think about these different aspects of yourself as being separate, or do you feel as though they're all encompassing you know, within yourself? I definitely feel like they're all encompassing and all intertwined. I, um, I love being able to go into little spheres and develop certain things more, but I think everything that I do influences everything else. And I don't think I would be the musician and artist that I am today if I were not allowed to, if I was just kind of put in a box. And that's something I do love about Frost and all of the, all of the things that I get to do at school. It's, I'm really, I really have the freedom to sing like a writer and write like a singer and a guitar player and a piano player and all of these things. Awesome, yeah, so before we get back into the music to, to close out this program, I just wanted to ask where can people find you, where can they find your music, where can they find your art, uh, if they wanna keep experiencing you know, your conception. Absolutely, I, have, um, I do have a link tree, if anybody knows what that is, um, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Vanya Hunko. Um, that's linked to my Instagram, my Instagram with my art account, um, my Facebook, my SoundCloud, my YouTube channel. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post more music there, I think, than most other places. And um, I'm looking forward to hopefully getting on streaming platforms sometime in the future, but for right now, that's where to find me. Awesome, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, so for the listeners, one time we've been listening to the music and, and hearing some of the story of Vanya Hunko here this fine Thursday morning. She's leading this group, uh, also an incredible composer, multi-instrumentalist, vocalist, uh, and she's joined by Aaron Busundiel on guitar, Angel Perez on piano, Jesse Katz on upright bass, and Bram Masla on drums. So with a little bit more in the program, we have some more time for music. Uh, wh what's next? Up next is anthropology. Sounds good. Take it away.
Anthropology here, live and direct, just a moment ago on WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour. That's Vanya Hunko on vocals, also leading this uh, wonderful quintet, joined by Aaron Basundiel on guitar, Angel Perez on piano, Jesse Katz on upright bass, and Bram Masla on drums. Uh, Vanya, thanks again once more for, for being with us. I think we have time for, for one more tune if you guys want to take it away. children's books. There's a trick with a knife I'm learning to do, but everything I've got belongs to you. I have a powerful anesthesia in my fist, and the perfect wrist to give your neck a twist. Hammerlock holds, I've mastered a few, but everything I've got belongs to you. Share for share, share alike. Shimmy good stuff each time I strike. Me for you and you for me. I'll give you plenty of nothing. I'm not yours for better, but for worse. And I've learned to give the well known witch's curse. 
I have a terrible tongue and a temper for two. But everything I've got, ooh, it's not a lot. But everything I've got belongs to you. Wrist to give your neck a twist. Hamlock holds, I've mastered a few. Everything I've got belongs to you. And at night we'll sleep and sleep, sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep, sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. I'll give you plenty of nothing. I'm not yours for better, but for worse. And I've learned to give the one no witch's curse. I have a terrible tongue and a temper for it too. But everything I've got. for the final time here on the Frost Jazz Hour. She is leading this wonderful group and also composed some of the tunes that you heard from as well as arranged some of the other ones. Uh, she's joined by Aaron Basundial on guitar here this morning, uh, as well as Angel Perez on piano, Jesse Katz on upright bass, and Brahm Masla on drums. Really wonderful program, Vanya. Thanks so much for, for being with us. It was a great pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so one more time next week, we're looking forward to the Monk Mingus Ensemble live and direct under the direction of John Hart. So Philip Capuzzi, 